Hi, so I would like to welcome you. Today I'm going to refer organizational behavior by Luthens and we'll be talking about job satisfaction. I've already made a video on this, uh, readings from Robbins and this will be another addition in the topic. So let's just start. What is meant by job satisfaction? Locke gives a comprehensive definition of job satisfaction as involving cognitive, affective and evaluative reactions or attitudes and it states it is a pleasurable or positive emotion or emotional state resulting from the appraisal of one's job or job experience. Job satisfaction is a result of employees perception of how well their job provides those things that are viewed as important. It is generally recognized in the organizational behavior field that job satisfaction is the most important and frequently studied employee attitude. Although theoretical analysis have criticized job satisfaction as being too narrow conceptually. There are three generally accepted dimensions to job satisfaction. First, job satisfaction is an emotional response to job situation. As such, it cannot be seen. It can only be inferred. Second, job satisfaction is often determined by how well outcomes meet or exceed expectations. For example, if organizational participants feel that they are working much harder than others in the department but are receiving fewer rewards, they will probably have a negative attitude towards their work boss or co-workers. They will be dissatisfied. On the other hand, if they feel they are being treated very well and are being paid equitably, they are likely to have a positive attitude towards the job. They will be job satisfied. Third, job satisfaction represents several related attitudes. So they pointed out three major uh, factors or say dimensions. First is it is an emotional response and uh, second is job satisfaction is often defined or determined by how well outcome meet or exceed expectations. And thirdly, job satisfaction represents several re related attitudes. Through the years, five job dimensions have been identified to represent the most important characteristics of job about which employees have effective response. Let's have a look at these five parameters. The work itself, pay, promotion opportunities, supervision, and co-workers. The extent to which the job provides the individual with interesting tasks, opportunities or learning and the chance to accept responsibility. Pay. This refer refers to the amount of financial remuneration that is received and the degree to which this is viewed as equitable that of others in the organization. Promotion opportunities. The chance for advancement in the organization. Supervision is another important dimension. It's the abilities of the supervisor to provide technical assistance and behavioral support. Co-workers play a very important role. The degree to which fellow workers are technically proficient and socially supportive affects the job satisfaction. So these five dimensions were formulated many years ago and have been widely used to measure job satisfaction over the years and a meta-analysis confirmed their construct validity. Influences on job satisfaction There are a number of factors that influence job satisfaction. For example, one study even found that if college students major coincided with their jobs, the relationship predicted subsequent job satisfaction. For example, if you are going to get a job in the same area which you are interested in, say you are studying MBA and you got the similar job of management then you will be more satisfied rather than uh, you getting a teaching job in which you are not interested as such. However, the main influence can be summarized along the 
above five dimensions. Let's talk in detail about these five dimensions, the work itself. The content of the work itself is a major source of satisfaction. For example, research related to the job characteristics, approach to job design, covered in the next chapter shows that feedback from the job itself and autonomy are two of the major job related motivational factors. Researchers have found that such job characteristics and job complexity mediate the relationship between personality and job satisfaction. And if the creative requirements of employees jobs are met, then they tend to be satisfied. At a more pragmatic level, some of the most important ingredients of satisfying job uncovered by surveys over the years include interesting and challenging work. And on um, one survey found that career development, not necessarily promotion, was most important to both younger and older employees. Also, on diversity and ethics, a study found work satisfaction is associated with equal opportunities and family friendly and anti-harassment practices. Firms on the annual fortune list of 100 best companies to work for, such as VSP and nation's la largest and uh, nation's largest provider of the eye care benefits, which is known for innovative human resources practice, have sustained high levels of employee satisfaction with work. So I'll be closing the video at present and we'll discuss these next topic, pay, promotions and supervision, work group, work conditions in the next video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.